Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the second movie in my Arrow Video VHS rental week. Uh, the first film we looked at was Dolls and tonight we're looking at another horror called um, Cellar Dweller. Now this is another um, video from the Enter the Video Store box set um, and this one is completely different from um, the last one. This one is, um, it starts off with an artist, um, you might, who, who, who's, who was in the reanimate, the, uh, the guy who plays it was in the reanimator, uh, and he's like an artist, and he's drawing this comic book called Cellar Dweller, which is about this creature that sort of kills these sort of women and stuff like that. And the whole sort of first segment of the film sort of is about him drawing his his comic book drawings. And you see all these wonderful drawings that he's doing. It's a really fine work there. Um, and then we were sort of treated to a sort of like a bit of an evil dead sort of scene where as he's drawing from outside, we see the camera moving fast towards the door, like an evil dead sort of camera work, which is pretty cool. Um, and then he's drawing the beast killing this girl. And lo and behold, um, from behind him, uh, it, it comes to life. The, the creature is up, is got in the house, and he's behind him, and he's killing this girl. I don't know where the girl's come from, but he's killing this girl just like it is in his comic book. And um, so he, he tries to... To stop it and gets a whack for his for his train and 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 the girl gets killed by the by the cellar dweller. Anyway, he he sort of runs out of the um of the room and upstairs, uh, because he's like scared, I suppose, and then he he gains a bit of um uh, courage and he grabs an axe that we see earlier on in the film. Um, when the uh, cellar dweller gets into the house, he grabs the axe and he very slowly makes his way back to the cellar. Now, and it is quite a slow sort of scene, this, when he's making his way to the cellar and he creeps down the stairs and etc. And when he gets down there, the girl's been killed and her body's laying sort of half naked on the floor, covered in blood. Anyway, he gets down there and he can't see the cellar dweller so he starts looking around and then he eventually sees it and then the cellar dweller goes to try and attack him and he gets um he gets a uh, his lighter and accidentally knocks over some sort of paint sort of like a probably white spirit on the floor and then he starts burning his pictures because he's the cellar's where he does his drawings of the cellar dweller and he starts burning them and it affects the cellar dweller he's like oh like this so he's sort of like uh burning because he's burning the pictures and he accidentally puts the uh the burnt paper on the floor which sets off the the white spirit and then the whole sort of cellar goes up in fire and our um, um, one of the main characters of the film from uh, it gets killed straight away um, and then we get the titles of the film and then we get 30 years later now we're returning back to the house um, first of all there's a taxi driving up towards the house and in this taxi is our main character now she's a female comic book artist um, and she's made her way to this house which is now a sort of art, art art training school. So she's now gone there to, to do some sort of like studying. And she wanted to go there because of the history of the house. Because the uh, the, the comic book draw at the beginning is her hero, it's her idol. She used to buy all, she says she loves horror. Um, she loves horror um, comics. Anyway, she, she she sort of goes, uh, after a long conversation with a taxi driver, she goes and knocks on the uh, door, but there's no reply, so she helps herself to going in the house, and then we meet our sort of mistress of the college, who's played by the actress that played um, 
Lily Munster in the original Munsters. Um, so she's actually the the mistress. So it was really cool to see her in the film. She's aged a lot in the film. Uh, she was absolutely stunning when she played Lily Munster in the um the nineteen sort of fifties Munster show. Um, but yeah, so she is the mistress, and she's doesn't like our our main character. She's already told her that because I think there's some history between them. She was doing a lecture, and our our artist sort of like heckled out something at the lecture and she didn't like it so she already doesn't like her but the uh the board that have uh, interviewed her to come to this school really like her and want her to come there so she's there um a, by by that reason so she doesn't want her sorry guys she doesn't want her there so that that's that's a big issue Anyway, so she gets a little tour of the uh, of, of of the school, and then we see the door that leads to the to the to the cellar, and she says, don't ever go in there. Which we then cut to like a sort of scene where the door opens, and she goes down there, and she sees all these visions, but it's just a sort of daydream sort of scene. Um, then I'll call her Lily Monster. She introduces us. Um, her to the, the the new girl to all the other sort of students that are there, um, and then shows her to her room, and then sort of like then she we see her sort of like explaining why she's there. She's there because, like I said, her hero um, did all his comics there, but like like Lily Monster said, but it's also where he killed himself. But we know he didn't kill himself. It's something to do with the. Uh, the drawings, the drawings that he drew actually happened and come to life. Um, so she starts, we see her doing her sort of drawings in her room and she hears all this sort of screaming going on from the outside. So she very, very sort of like cautiously goes to investigate um, what it is. And then we find out that it's just another one of the students who's outside screaming, just letting off her steam, if you like. But anyway, she's now at the college and she does the same thing as our artist at the beginning. She she wants to rejuvenate the cellar dweller sort of comic books with her own sort of style. So is she going to um, raise the cellar dweller just like the original artist? So are we going to be treated to once again? The, the the cellar dweller sort of stalking the halls of this building. You need to watch it and find out to see what happens. What do I think of Sweller D uh, Dweller? <laughs> it's excellent. It's an awesome film. It, it's really, really cool. It's so cheesy in 80s. And, and seeing a couple of like um, horror icons, like the guy from... Uh, Reanimator and Lily Monster. It it's just make gives it an even extra sort of charm. I'm sorry I'll keep yawning guys. I'm tired of I've watched three of these movies today and it's like oh, you know because uh, I'm on a day off from work so I've tried to make the most and catch up with some movies. Um yeah, it's excellent. It's such a good film. It's such an original sort of story. I like that sort of um sort of things like that when someone draws a comic book or something and it comes true, it comes to life. And and I quite like that. And, what, you know, can she turn the story around? Can she draw into her stories to get rid of the cellar dweller? You need to watch it and find out. Uh, the pluses of it, it looks great. It looks very sort of 80s, 90s style. Very, very cool. Um, I love the environment. I love that the house is like in the middle of nowhere. Fantastic cast. It's really well acted. It's great fun. It's completely different. It, yeah, it's a little bit of a slow burn, but I like that because I like the characters. And I think it, this, this film really needs to be a slow burn for you to get to understand the characters. You know, there's no point in just showing... Uh, the, the monster and the monster does get a fair bit of screen time which is really cool too um 
but I, I don't want it to be like full on monster flick. I like some films where there's character based because it's not always about the monsters. It's it's about the actual story and and the people that's involved with it and their backgrounds. And I like that. It it brings more to the story, and it also gives it that purpose to watch it again. Uh, to see if there's anything that you might have missed in, in the first viewing. And I loved it. Really cool. Negatives? I can't really think of any. Yeah, a little bit more gory would have been pretty cool. But it, it's not bad at all. It is an 18. So it does have a bit of gore and nudity in the film. Um, so really cool film. So again, I'm going to score this an amazing watch. And give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> Two absolute... VHS rental classic so far in this box set I've given a 9 out of 10 to both of them and they both just happen to be the two horror films that are in the collection the rest of the films in there are science fiction sort of alien sort of films so they're going to be different to these um, so I love this really really cool really great film Cellar Dweller 9 out of 10 any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. It's, again, it's a forgotten gem that um, Arrow have managed to lift up and give to us as a treat in this box set. Um, which is fantastic. And it was just like, again, it's something else that would go under everyone's radar. And the original artwork is fantastic. Um... Let me show you the poster again because I absolutely love the original artwork. And I'm so tempted to put it on the wall there um, behind me. But I probably won't because I like to keep my box set complete. But that is fantastic. That is so like retro but so bloody cool at the same time. The new artwork's really, really cool. Really, really cool. But there's something more charming about the sort of like humble original artwork, which I think is really, really cool. Great. So I'm going to try and keep my eyes out for a spare poster of this. So if anybody sees one going, let me know. Um, because I would like to get a spare poster of it to put on now. I don't really want to take it out of this. I know that's stupid, but I, I just don't want really to want to take it out of the set. But there we are cool guys and there we go that's the second of our vhs rental films in our week so the next one we're going to look at is one the one film that i have seen in the uh, collection and that is arena now i have only seen this once and that was back in when it came out as a rental film and I remember quite having fun watching it. I thought it was quite good fun. It wasn't a film that really overly impressed me. But I knew it was quite fun. But we're going to have another look at it. And I'm going to see what I think about it now. Years on. You know, to see if it's like uh, 30, 40 years on. Maybe more. Um, since I've seen this film. 30, 40 years. To see if it is, uh, if it's got any worse. Or if it's still good fun. Or actually if it's better than what I thought it was. But that's what we're going to look at next. So until then, check out some horror channels. Let me check out the Horror Hands, the Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs, Pizzlewell, I Am the Ice Lord, Sarah of Horror, Cat Watches Horror Movies, Grumpy Andrews Haunted House, and a massive shout out to my lad Lemon Lord. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.